Hello guys. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I set up my WinLater and achieved 90 to 100 plus FPS using WinLater 10.1. If you're using a Snapdragon 855, 860, or 7 South Gen 2, and you're looking for a great football game with solid graphics and smooth performance, you're in the right place. Note, this setup also works for other Snapdragon devices as well. Before we continue, if you enjoy this kind of content, kindly press that subscribe button and smash the like button, because that's what this channel is all about. Now, without further delay, let's dive into the gameplay and the setup. In this gameplay, I'm running the game at 720p resolution with low graphics settings. We all know how demanding this game used to be back when it was first playable on Mobox and WinLater, but now thanks to Bruno and Titsep for their incredible work on optimizing. When later in Box 64, we're finally able to enjoy smooth gameplay with great FPS. I do hope PES 2018 becomes fully playable on devices like the 855, 860, and 7 South Gen 2 in the future. But keep in mind, PES 2018 is quite demanding its pushing PS4 level graphics. Back to the gameplay, as you can see, even in the menu, the frame rate is really solid. Note. The FPS shown here may seem a bit lower due to screen recording, but without screen recording, I'm consistently getting 90 to 100 FPS. I've been hit by it too. And that gets things running. Mascherano. Jordi Alba. Iniesta. Rakitic. Daniel Alves. PK. Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, knocks it towards the front, Iniesta, and it's gone along, Sergio Busquets with the ball through, Neymar looking to get on the end of this, and that's been repelled, a loose ball. And we're underway. Iniesta. Jale positions himself well and cuts it out. And Titi. Messi! Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Defense has got rid of that. And Messi! Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are in front! That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. Barcelona take the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Luis Suarez looks to dink one in. Iniesta! It's a loose ball. Surely this time. Oh, he's really drilled it. Messi opportunity to showcase his dead ball craft. Gone along. Gets it away. Shoots! Goal! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Barcelona get themselves a two-goal cushion. 
That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. They are rampant! And already they're looking to run away! They... Great football, shot and save. The defence was made to look vulnerable there. They simply had no answer for that trickery. Up to meet it! And another time! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, in the circumstances, I think he did well to get some sort of attempt on goal because he was pretty much hurried and hassled out of that. Chalet. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Iniesta passes it through. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Here's the whistle for half-time.